guys, welcome to The Homestead. So today we're gonna kinda go over our time in Vandalia, Missouri, visiting with Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. They had a gigantic event, several thousand people, at least 2,000, I think 2,000 people showed up to the event. It was absolutely fantastic. I am completely humbled when I go to places like this and so many people come up to me and say, Zap, we watch your channel, we love what you have to say. I'm just a guy on the internet giving you my opinion on things and trying to share my experiences in a way that's going to help people be better homesteaders or just better people in general, especially in the world that we find ourselves in, which is more and more apparent that we're living in times of absolute lunacy. Um, and so how to make sense of it all. And so that's just me. I'm just trying to do that. I, I am I am humbled. I even had there were some kids who came up to me and drew me a picture they i think they drew one for also for doug and stacy and they they gave me one of their the pictures that they drew um so it's like they thought of there was it just amazes me that people you know hold me in that sort of regard and i thank you um i am truly humbled they had people who came up to me and gave me recipes on certain things um you know to try and i really appreciate that as well um got to meet a lot of great people people i've never met before and then some old friends first off uh, simple life with chris and tara they had uh, their booth set up there, and I find it absolutely fascinating that a guy like Chris can take something, uh, a vintage cast iron pan, and make it like new again in, in the way that he does. Um, I would, after looking at his stuff like face to face, you know, several times now, um, I, I would absolutely buy one of his pans that have been refurbished over a brand new cast iron pan sold in the store. Without question, without delay, his pans are better. <laughs> I'm like, nowadays you don't get that smooth, slick, you know, at least not that I'm aware of that you can buy. But, you know, he has these methods that he uses and he, he shares all that stuff on his channel, um, you know, with Tara. So it's, it's The Simple Life with Chris and Tara. You can find them on YouTube. Um, definitely subscribe, especially if you're looking at trying to refurbish some old cast iron. He has, he just does an amazing job. And again, I would rather buy a refurbished pan that was 70 years old. And he had some there, you know, kind of like that back from the 1940s and, and beyond. And then I'd rather buy that than go ahead and buy something new without question. So that was really cool to uh, talk with him. And he showed me some of the stuff and he, he had classes and stuff that he was uh, showing people how to refurbish these things. Um, also, a lot of people might be familiar with Clyde's Garden Planner. Got to meet Clyde for the first time. Actually, I've met him before at different events, uh, but we, I really got to sit down with him and just kind of pick his brain on some things and uh, kind of like his chart. And so I'm thinking about getting a bunch of these. He's going to give me a discount, I think, on ordering a bunch of these. And I'm just going to give them away to some of my patrons. So like the Crockett level patron, you know, the next level down maybe, I just may send these out. Uh, to my patrons. So it's basically a, a garden guide that you keep with your gardening stuff every year and it helps you determine when to plant based on what zone you're in and what plants you're planting and all that. So very handy. A lot of people I know out there use these things. So um, if you're one of them, leave a comment below and let us know your experience. Um, what else? So much going on. It was uh, I got to meet so many great people, a lot of new faces, a lot of old faces, people I've met at other events, um, you know, too many to mention. I got to meet also um, Curtis Stone from his YouTube channel. That was neat. And we got to do a forum, a sit down question, and a, question Q and a question and answer about some of the things uh, regarding homesteading with Doug and Stacy and Curtis. Uh, and that was fun. And then like um, I, I gave a couple of lectures. The first lecture I'll talk about is or was the obstacles when it comes to homesteading. And I got to talk about a lot of things, money, kids, uh, jobs, you know, all of these things that sometimes can be obstacles to homesteading. And one of the things I really didn't get a chance to talk too much about was the organization of homesteading. There's so many things that happen as you begin to get into your homestead journey. When you take that jump that distract you, that run you down, that because you know, you're going to experience loss, you're going to experience failures. It's just part of the learning process because we're so far removed from what our grandparents and great grandparents knew when it came to some of these things. And so there are things you can do to help better set yourself up for success. And that was what my lecture was on. But one of the things I didn't get to talk too much about was the organization. I think this is something that is very much amiss in this community of homesteaders. And so it's something I'm going to be talking about coming up on future videos. Being a more organized homestead 
will allow you to be a more functioning homestead. Okay. And not only that, it's going to uh, save you from a lot of stress. So I hope that makes sense. If that interests you, please leave a combo comment below and let me know. Um, so we're going to talk about that. And some of the things I, and some of these things are going to be hard for you to do. It's just the mindset. You know, we're not used to doing these things. Some of these, pe some people are just not geared to think in, in terms of organization, you know, making lists. Oh, I can't do that. I just have to go by the seat of my pants. Well, then you're going to struggle. I've had to become, since I have been, you know, over the last few years, I have had to discover that lists make me more productive. You know, being organized in general makes me more productive. It allows me to get things done that I need to do. And I can't, I'm juggling all the time. And so it's something that is, I can't pass that up. I have to take notice of the benefits of organization. So we'll talk about that. The second lecture I gave was talking about garden pests, dealing with garden pests. Now this can include insects. This can include small mammals, large mammals. It's going to include two-legged mammals. It's going to include funguses, things like that. And one of the things that came up besides you know, dealing with two-legged mammals, that seemed to be a lot of interest in that, especially for the times that we're, we're living in. And, and, and for the fact that I have seen so many videos coming out on Twitter and other places where people who have homes or property next to roadsides who also put their gardens next to roadsides are experiencing more and more their gardens being pilfered, st items stolen out of the garden. That's only going to increase. We talked some about that and I'll probably will do a video coming up on that as well. But one of the other things was you know, someone mentioned squirrels in the whole, it's like, it seemed like a lot of people in the audience were like, yeah, squirrels are so destructive. And I've, I've done a video on how to get rid of squirrels. So I want to talk about that now. If you're not aware, I did a video a, a while back, a number of years ago, and it was one of my most popular videos I've ever done. It was called how to kill a bazillion squirrels, how to kill a bazillion squirrels. And it involves using and utilizing what's called a, a squirrel pole, squirrel pole, P-O-L-E. Okay, and using that squirrel pole in conjunction with what's called a 110 conibear, C O N I B E A R, a 110 110 conibear, C O N I B E A R. And here's a picture of one this is a 110 conibear. This is something that is described in that video and how to use it so that you can also, I have like, like me, can kill a bazillion squirrels. When, when the squirrels come in and they want your baby tomatoes and when they want your blackberries and when they want all these little things out of your garden, when they're gonna be, go in complete destruction mode, this is the tool right here that you can use to eliminate that threat, or at least make a dent in the population. Okay, so I talk about this in the video if you want more information on that. It seemed to be a lot of interest in that because a lot of people have experienced damage from squirrels. So I'll leave that link uh, in below and you can, or you can just Google on YouTube or YouTube search uh, how to kill a bazillion squirrels in American Homestead. It should come up. Okay, like I said, I had a fun time. Um, I'm looking forward to another event. They're going to be doing another event sometime in the late summer. I'm not sure how that's going to uh, turn out yet. I think I, they used to go to Hannibal, but I think... Whatever happened with that, uh, the city did not like, I don't know. There's some kind of, they're trying to basically figure out the venue and it's not going well. So, uh, but I'm sure they're going to do another event. And whenever that event happens, um, I've been told that I'll be, uh, be coming back. And then also we got some other events coming up this year. So stay tuned for speaking events. If you want to come out and see me, I really appreciate you coming out. Um, I, again, I'm very humbled by so many people who come up to me and, and tell me that they watch and enjoy my channel. It means a lot to me uh, that you support me in that way. All right, guys. Hey, um, oh, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys came out to see me were patrons. <laughs> and and the first question out of my mouth was, did you download the PDFs? Did you download the books? Uh, most of you said yes. Most of you said yes. And so I thank you for that. And most of you, my next question, if you downloaded the books, did you get them printed yet? And so a lot of you uh, said yes to that. Some of you were like, oh, I haven't done it yet. I saw my list. Get it done. Okay, because this stuff, if you're keeping it on the cloud somewhere, that's not going to work. You want to be able to have these printed out because the information is so valuable. That's why if you buy these on Amazon, you're going to pay $800 for one and around $900 for the other is because of the valuable information contained within it. These are my medicine cabinets. Okay, I want you to download them. I want you to get them printed out. If you're a patron of our channel, you can join for as little as a dollar a month and get access to these books, downloads, and download them. If you quit after that, fine. If you join at higher levels, that helps support our homestead. I appreciate that. 
but you can just get access for a dollar. Someone left a comment the other day. It was like, you said they were free, but you're charging a dollar. You're lying and ripping off your, your, your viewers. <laughs> like, if I can make it 50 cents, I would. But the l least amount that I can charge from Patreon is a dollar. So I'm trying to make it as cheap as they allow me to make it. So I'm not ripping you off. I want this information. This is information that was, you know, written 100 years ago by this guy, Dr. A.B. Howard. He lived in the 1800s. And, and these are out of copyright, out of print. I think last printed in like the 80s and 90s. Um, but they're out of copyright, out of print. And so I want you to have this information because I believe it's valuable. And the times we're headed, times are going to get tough and you better learn how to. There was there was some great people at the Doug and Stacy event when it came to, um, you know, tinctures and different things like that. And um, I learned a lot. In fact, I, I consulted with a number of those people there. And we're going to talk more about that probably in the future. But anyway. I learned a lot, and I was very grateful that they were there and that they, they uh, we shared some ideas back and forth. So it was very fun. Uh, but it's all this kind of stuff. Guys, you, you, bet, you better understand that what has been relied upon for the last 50, 60, 70 years is going away. They have already la lost completely their credibility, at least for, for me, you know, in my opinion. They have lost their credibility, okay, with the last three or four years. This is what I would trust. This is what I have seen work, and I use it myself. So um, get these books, very valuable information contained within. Link for our Patreon is in the description below. Once you join our Patreon, you can go up to our patrons link up on our website at AmericanHomestead.com, and you can find the link to download these books. Or they're also at Patreon.com slash AmericanHomestead, link below. All right, love you guys. Hey, leave a comment below. If you were at the event, tell me how you how you thought it went. And if you're going to see me at a future event, also leave me a comment below. I'd love to meet you and see you. All right. See you next time in the homestead. Bye. Hey guys, we know that a lot of our audience are homeschoolers. Homeschooling here is very important to us. Uh, and if you're like us, maybe you've had a hard time training your youngsters to memorize their times tables. Well, I want to introduce you to a program today that I think will help with that. This is Times Tales. It's perfect for small children. At age seven, my youngest son has his multiplication tables memorized all of them. Times Tales is a series of stories that your child learns in a video. The video presents a simple story that your child can easily recall from memory and assist them in easily remembering the multiplication facts. My late wife Jamie made a video talking about how our oldest child still was having problems with times table memorization. Until we tried Times Tales. After months of getting behind and stressful struggling, Times Tales was almost an overnight correction and allowed him to get back on track with his math courses. So I want you to give this a try. They have different packages available, and there's going to be a link in the description below. Every purchase you make from this program is going to help the homestead. Give it a try. It worked for us. I'm sure it can work for you and your child, too. I know my math facts. Hey, hey there. Thanks for watching our channel. If you're looking for great off-grid homesteading videos, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button and be sure to like the video you just watched. You can also feel free to send us your questions by going to anamericanhomestead.com on our contact page and send me your question. Your question might get made into a video. In the meantime, check out some of these other great videos. Oh wait, go ahead and click them. Go ahead.